Good morning to everyone watching. So today I actually have a very exciting video to show you guys. Um, I know in the past I made a video about training within a kind of a simulator environment where you're able to kind of practice different scenarios, whether that was like active shooter scenarios or things like that. Today I have something that really takes things to the next level and I'm very excited to share with you. I am right now at the Trinity Training Complex. It's in Staten Island, New York. They do have multiple locations and more coming, which is very exciting. And what this facility is, is solely based on simunition training. So this is as close as you're able to get to being in a gunfight without actually needing to be in a gunfight, which is where we, where we all wanna be. So what this facility has is a huge location that offers vehicle training, building clearing, and huge different varieties, how they can modify it to give you kind of a different experience every single time. So besides for the facility being all about simunition training and giving you amazing experiences when it comes to that kind of training they also offer a lot of gear so they make a lot of law enforcement based gear so uh, patches and panels different things that could be used to help identify law enforcement uh, for different situations especially for guys who might be doing a lot of covert work they have offerings for for those guys specifically now you might recognize some of the guys that are from here um, or some of the things that I might speak about today because these are the same guys that I made a video on kind of way back from uh, condition gray so condition gray was a counterterrorism course that I took kind of uh, kind of a way back and now the guys that were the instructors there and the guys that were working there are now also being able to offer this kind of facility to give you really amazing training and experiences. So we're gonna walk through the facility, show you kind of different things and different layouts they might have, and show you why this might be something really interesting for you to be able to experience when it comes to any type of training. Again, if you've had any type of regular firearms training before, this takes things to an absolutely new level. Now, a really cool part is if you're coming from a restricted state or you're coming from a place that you wouldn't usually be allowed to do this, since everything is simunition based, they're gonna offer all the gear for you. So you can fly from a different state, you can come from a restricted state, and there's no legality or restrictions on you being able to join this facility. You just need to bring yourself a good attitude and you're gonna have an amazing time. So I'm standing here with Joe who's the owner of this facility and we want to kind of give you a run through. So like tell me about like what the guns are, like what's the training like here? Sure, tell so this is a complete NLTA training facility. So everything you see here is non-life fire. Some of them are actual real real world weapons. For example, like this is a six hour uh, P320C. Uh, but it's with the conversion side, whereas with the unit solutions and some of the other systems we have, these are dedicated, built from the ground up, non-live fire, incapable of firing, uh, non-firearms. And that's a really big deal when you're talking about uh, restricted venues such as New York, New Jersey, Connecticut, where things are kind of um, legally uh, kind of gray and ambiguous. Uh, what these do, these, these allow us to give training aids to people who typically wouldn't be able to touch them otherwise. What I mentioned er so. earlier actually, which is really valuable, is that if a person doesn't own a gun, or if a person owns a gun but lives in a restricted state, mm -hmm. they can just fly over or drive over without any gear and just Nothing. show up here and have everything that they need. Nothing, I mean, between the pro shop and the fact that we have rentals for just about everything, you could literally walk in here and be outfitted from head to toe. So you have rifle stuff, you have pistol stuff, you have also different configurations, meaning like sure. not just SIGs, you have Glocks as well, different yes. setups as well. Yes. Yeah, we kind of uh, cater to the client's needs. We have some private clients here that have specific firearms so we were able to match those guns and replicate nice. those and allow them to use their own holsters and stuff like that so it's really it's it's really the the, the imagination here is in the it's in the eye of the beholder it's really so how the, far do you want to go with it the question my people ask is like so we'll, we'll speak about this in like the most blatant mm -hmm. terms as possible right sure so by using these we're able to shoot other people and it's yes. safe it's completely yeah. safe to do it yeah this is in essence it's a 0.43 projectile that comes out of the uh, umarex guns um they hit nicely they nice. hit accurately uh, and there's no mistaking the fact that if you make a mistake and you're tactically no. unsound, it's going to remind <laughs> you really quickly that you should probably change your tactics. And then also like for, um, so we're able to do like right now, like one of the vehicle rooms. So we're mm -hmm. able to do like vehicle tactics and things mm -hmm. like that. There's also like room clearing areas and things yes. like that. So like these are all set up for any type of environment yeah, you're able to use. Exactly. So and we can, it's modular. So the, from the ground up, from this room to the three bays over, whatever we want to configure based off the client's needs, we configure. So That's if you beautiful. want long hallways or small short rooms, we can basically uh, build it as such. So we have a floor plan what we do with a lot of the agencies is the agency will come in that week for their training um, evolution. They'll say, hey, we want floor plans one, five, and seven, and we give them the playbook. When they come in that morning, the you minute they it walk in, that. it's already built for them. Nice. So what that does is it maximizes like agency time or unit, like a, if it's a private company, maximizes their training time. So if you say you're training from like say eight to four, that eight hour window, we do all the work for you. That thing's all set up and it's when you walk in, it's literally a turnkey operation. So, Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. So you also have events that you do like I think every Friday nights now? Yeah. And what are those events like? What are they? So that's our cult-like following. We have nice. people that have been driving from all over the tri-state area. They come in for what's called Friday night fights. Um, it started that as a concept, or well, the concept behind it was people can't always align their dates with certain classes and commit to an eight-hour day in a random place where they have to first travel to, get lodging, and all that other stuff. What we did was we kind of took that away. We kind of went away from that. We said, let's do weekly workshops where you can come in for like an hour, 
and you get like a 45 minute to an hour brief on whatever the tactic may be or the topic may be. And then for the next two, three hours, we just rep the heck out of it. Man. So what we've been doing is we've been doing a lot of low light uh, vehicle stuff. So in, in, fighting in and around vehicles, we've done intro to night vision, we've done solo CQB, we've done active shooter response, we've done a myriad of different things in a very short amount of time and it's kind of grown legs and that's why you're starting to see that the Friday night fights have kind of become like almost like a, a cult-like following. It's and awesome. and they, 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 there's actually a motto for it. It says, uh, come for the violence and stay for the laughs. And the I, reason, thought, I saw that outside actually, that's hilarious. The, the reason in behind it is because it becomes hysterical. Like we have really good dudes from all ends of the spectrum and, and men and women from all ends of the spectrum in their, in, in their shooting careers, whether they're a civilian CCW holder, a competition shooter, or maybe say a law enforcement officer or a military. And everybody's under one roof kind of jiving together. That's it's really right. cool to watch them work and kind of see from the different agencies and from the different perspectives, them work with each other and then kind of build up. And then by the end of the night, you know, these people are... It's amazing because you have a lot of experience. You, have really, you, have, you could really train a lot of crazy things you'd never be able to train before. As well as a big variable also is that although it's incredibly fun to be able to do, it is also the scariest type of training you're able to get as well. For sure. Because you're realizing how fast things happen, mm -hmm. all the fundamentals you taught and all the tactical cool classes you've taken before. Yeah. It Nothing matters, meaning now it's actual application sure. uh, when it's a whole though, different experience. It, it dispels a lot of myths very quickly. So yeah. if you have, if you were willing to die on a hill for certain tactics and then you find out in the vehicle lab that it doesn't work, it's kind of like you're gonna fall on that sword. The, the best kind of people I'd recommend for this place, if you're someone who carries ankle carry, or if you carry pocket carry, <laughs> or you carry from like shoulder holsters, man, this would be an experience for you, because sure. you could really test out your gear to like every kind of environment. Yeah, without a doubt. So we have a gentleman here by the name of uh, Ivan Perdomo. Ivan runs Prometheus Training. Uh, he's been in and around the game for a long time. He's our blade work expert, and when we talk about getting into the nitty gritties of hand-to-hand -hand stuff at the extreme close distances, I really puts a lot of this stuff to work. Man, that's you exciting. Know, you really quickly learn what gear works and what gear doesn't. And that kind of caveats into what we did with the pro shop. So the pro shop is not your standard gun store. It's not your standard, you know, you know, ABC slash, you know, uh, style of holster, let's just say. We went out to the best stuff in the industry. We purposely I saw these people gear, out. The Wilder Tactical Absolutely. Gear and all that. Absolutely. Absolutely. Filster stuff. holsters. Yeah. Uh, and we have other people in mind that we're trying to like slowly lure in. And the, the, usually the first, the conversation goes a little like this, like, wait, where are you? Yeah. You're, in, you're in where? You're in New York City? Yeah. So we're right now, we're kind of blowing people's minds with the fact that a, a venue like this, a, a complex like this even exists. And what that's doing is it allowing us to get some of these vendors to be like, wow, I want to be a part of that. That's awesome because yeah. you're outfitting what could be potentially, you know, right now you got to figure up until August, you couldn't own a, you couldn't conceal carry until August 23rd when they finally had the, the court ruling. Yeah. Now you have 16 million people who never could own these things now are able to own them. And they're all carrying. And, and they're, they have nowhere to go but here. Yeah. So we, I don't know if the timing was right and you know, somebody was looking out for us, but. Always. In, in the end, we've, uh, we've embraced that community. We see them here week after week after week. As you saw, we're here. Yeah, uh, you know, we already have classes like, going on. So it's just, the people are coming out of the woodworks. Because, so I'm sure a lot of people want to be yeah. a part of this. Like, where would they be able to find you? Like, what's, like, is there a social media aspect? Yeah, so websites? We're, we're, we're hot and heavy on Instagram. They seem to be the best uh, method for getting the word out. Cool. Um, we post a lot of our cool videos, a lot of our edits. We try to keep it lighthearted, but we also try to keep a serious spin to it, yeah. uh, Facebook, and obviously our website. So. I'm going to leave all this information in the link in the description below. Yep. If you guys have any questions, you can always reach out to them. If you're an agency, if you're a training company that wants to be able to take advantage of these kind of facilities, I know there's even more of these things coming that's really going to be uh, blowing, the, uh, blowing the market when it comes to training like Absolutely. this. So all that information is going to be linked in the, in the description below, and definitely reach out to them for that kind of training.